record ni Sir Taday. Okay? So, negative 4 is the slope. Okay? So, the numerical coefficient of x, yun lang yung lagi nating titingnan. And then, yung 3 natin is the y-intercept. Yan. So, m is equal to negative 4. Yung slope class is denoted by small letter m. Then, yung b natin is the y-intercept, which is 3. So, next. Try nyo nga, class. What is the slope of this line? y equals 5 minus 1 half x. Anybody can answer. Wala. Ano na lang, pa-comment na lang sa comment section. You can comment your answer. Hindi pa, Kerry. Sige. So, dito class, m is equal to negative 1 half. Then, yung y-intercept natin is 5. Ayan. So, nagkabaliktad lang, pero still, titingnan nyo pa rin yung x. Yung coefficient, numerical coefficient of x. And yung constant is the y-intercept. Okay, how about this one? 8x plus y equals negative 3 over 4. Sige, comment nyo. Try nyo, class. Wait ko kayo sa comment. Yung M. Okay. Correct. Yung B is 3 fourth. Positive ba? Ayan. So, the... Okay. So, M is negative 8 and B is equal to negative 3 over 4. So, pag nire-write natin siya, ta-transpose lang natin yung 8x. So, it becomes negative 8x. Tapos, ito, stay lang siya dito. So, negative pa rin. Pamute! K kanina yun. Ingay. Parang sa'yo sa bahay nila, di ba? Okay, how about this one? Okay, so let's check. M is equal to 2. And then, B is equal to negative 5. So, paano nangyari yun? Si 2Y separate, uh, divide both sides by 2. And then, yung negative, pagka nilipat natin si 2Y dito, lipat natin si 10 dito, si 10 magi magiging negative 10, tapos divide both sides by 2, magiging negative 5. Okay? So how about this one? How about this one? What is the slope of the line? So, 
Slope is Okay. Saan ba? One third and then Okay. There is no y intercept. Okay. Zero. Okay. How about y equals five? May slope ba siya? Wala. Okay. And then, b is equal to five. Ayan. So, write daw ng equation ng line. Ayan. So, ito yung ano, there are different ways to write the equation of the line. So, pinakauna, first one is by using the slope and y-intercept. So, it, de it depends on the given condition. So, yung second one is by graph. So, by examining the graph, you can uh, find points to finally uh, draw the graph of a line. So, number three is by slope and a point. And then, the other one is by two points. So, meron pa tong kulang. Mamaya, idadagdag ko. Yung intercept form. Ay, meron pala yan. X and Y intercepts. Okay. So, number one. So, finding the equation of the line when given slope and y-intercept. Wait lang. So, ano ko na nga lang yung cam ko para hindi masyadong humihina yung signal. Ayan. So, first thing to do daw is substitute m and b into this form. So, ito yung pinakauna nating i-memorize na formula class. So, ngayon, mag-memorize tayo ng bali Four or five formula. So, ito yung pinakauna. Y equals mx plus b. Pinakamadali siyang i-memorize. So, for example, write the equation of the line given m equals negative 3 or slope is negative 3 and y-intercept is 1. So, we will substitute the... We will just substitute the given dun sa formula natin. So, m substitute. So, negative 3. Then, b is 1. So, okay na yun. So, ito na yung line natin. So, ang tawag natin dito, class, sa ganitong form ng line is standard form. There are two form of the equation of the line. So, una yung standard form at saka yung general form. So, pag sinabi natin standard form, naka Y form siya, class. Ganito yung itsura niya. And then, yung other form is general form, which is yung ax plus by plus c equal 0. So, pag nakita nyo naka-equate siya sa 0, ibig sabihin naka-general form siya. Okay? Ayan. So, halimbawa, negative 2, slope is negative 2, and y-intercept is negative 4. So, we will just substitute. So, the equation of the line is y equals negative 2x minus 4. So, napakadali lang, di ba, nitong pinakauna. How about this one? What is the equation of the line? m is 0, b is 10. y equals, an equation ng line natin? Okay. y equals 10. Pag ang, pag ang line class is y equals 10, so, ibig sabihin, that is a horizontal line na nakatapat dun kay 10. Pag ganun siya. Ibig sabihin, ang slope niya is 0. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya nag, hindi siya nagkaroon ng paggalaw sa y niya. Kaya yung delta y natin is equal to 0. Ayan siya. Horizontal line. Nakahiga. Tapos nakatapat siya kay 10. Okay. And then, ayan. So, m is equal to 
1 and then B is 0. So, ano naman tsura ng line natin? Ano sa tingin nyo, class? Y equals? Y equals X. Y, pag 1, hindi na natin isusulat. So, pag walang nakasulat, automatic na 1 siya. Okay. Uh -oh. So, y equals x, yung equation ng line natin. Yes? Yes? Hindi. Hindi. Y equals x. Hindi, ito, hindi mo na siya kailangan, oo, hindi mo na siya kailangan isulat, yung 1. Pinakita lang niya, yung substitution. Ito, ito yung final answer natin. Nasa dulo, y equals x. Okay? Next, m is 0 and b is 0. So, the equation is y equals 0. Okay? So, next. Okay, next. Find the equation of a line given the graph. Find the y-intercept of the graph. Then, count count the slope from the graph. Ayan. So, vertical change natin. Delta y over horizontal change. E, or del, over delta x. So, rise over run. Or change in y over change in x. So, to write the equation of the line, substitute the slope and y-intercept form of the equation. Use the y-intercept form of the equation. Halimbawa, this one. So, ito yung line natin. Nakita natin yung graph niya. Okay. So, dito nakita natin from one point, kumuha tayo ng isang point. Halimbawa. So, alimbawa, ang kinuha nating point ito, si 0, negative 3. So, yung negative, galing dito sa negative 3, umangat siya ng ilang units? 3 units. Uh, so, positive, positive 3. And then, kumaliwa siya, tanda natin class, kapag down, kapag down, negative, yung movement niya. Kapag uh, positive. Pag right, positive. Pag left, negative. So, yun yung movement niya. From, isang po, from one point to other point. So, dito, from 0, 3. From 0, negative 3, rather. So, umangat siya. So, napunta siya dito kay 0. Yun yung change in y niya. Positive 3 units. And then, sa x naman, galing dito yung x niya. Napunta naman dito, ba? So, ibig sabihin, kumanan siya ng dalawa. So, change in y natin is 3. Then, change in x natin is 2. Positive 2. Ayan. So, yung slope natin is 3 over 2. Kasi yung change in y, na, change in y natin is 3. Then, yung change in x over change in x Ang denominator yung change in x, so 2. And then, yung y-intercept niya, saan point dumaan yung line dito sa x, sa y-axis natin? So, dito siya sa negative 3. So, yun yung negative 3. B equals negative 3. So, yung equation ng line natin, substitute lang natin. Slope is 3 over 2. And then, y-intercept is negative 3. So, the equation of the line is y equals 3 over 2 x minus 3. Okay, nagets niya yan? Okay, next, isa pa. So, dito, from this point, ano yung y in, what is the y-intercept of this line? Y intercept pa at what at what point did the line cross the y axis? Okay, 1. So yun yung 
yun yung y-intercept natin. Okay? Then, yung slope natin, slope is 1, tapos negative 2. So, umap siya, goes up 1 unit, and then goes to the left, negative 2 units to the left. So, the slope is 1, negative 1, half. Okay? So, what is the equation of the line? The equation of the line is y equals Okay. y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. Okay? Next, how about this one? So, it is a horizontal line. So, we're in 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the equation of line is y equals four. Y equals four. Okay, y intercept is four and slope is zero. Okay, next. Use point slope formula. So, ito na yung third formula natin. A ah, second formula, rather. Kasi yung una is by graph. Ah, yung second one is by graph. Okay. So, pamute na po. So, whenever you are answering, don't forget to mute your mic. Okay. So, the second formula, use the point slow formula, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Yan. So, ang given naman dito class is 1 point, so x sub 1 and y sub 1. Ayan. And then, the slope of the line. So, substitute lang natin yung m and then yung x sub 1 and y sub 1 into the formula. So, for example, write the equation of the line with slope equals negative 2 and passing through the point 3, negative 5. So, we will just substitute the given. The m, the slope, and the x sub 1 and y sub 1. So, from this formula, so we will substitute y sub 1, which is negative 5. So, negative times negative, so yan. You can actually, you can directly write y plus 5. And then for m, slope is negative 2. So, you will just substitute it. So, negative 2. And then, simplifying the equation. So, simplify natin siya dito. And then, this one, distribute negative 2 to x minus 3. So, that's negative 2 times x. So, negative, e, negative 2x. Then, negative 2 times negative 3, that's 6. And then, simplifying our equation. So, para y form siya. So, stay lang natin dito si y. And then, yan. Negative 2. Then, 6. Tapos, minus 5. Transpose natin si 5. So, magiging 6 minus 5 is 1. Okay? So, this is the equation of the line. y equals negative 2x plus 1. Okay? So, nagets ba? Okay. So, next formula is when given two points. So, when given two points, you can calculate first the, ano, the slope and then use kahit anong point doon sa given na point. Ayan. So, sinasabi niya dito, just calculate, calculate muna the slope and then you can use the point slope formula. Ayan. So, for, for example, write the equation of the line that goes through the points 3, 2, and 5, 4. Ayan. So, compute muna natin yung slope niya. So, y sub 2, assign natin to x sub 1, y sub 1, tas y sub, y sub 2, and x sub 2, and y sub 2. Ayan. 
So, y sub 2, 4 minus 2. So, yan yan. Y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, 4 minus 2. Then, x sub 2, 5 minus 3. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Ayan. Substitute lang. Then, simplifying. 4 minus 2, that's 2. 5 minus 3. So, 2. So, 2, 2 over 2 is 1. So, 1 yung slope natin. And then, you can use either of these two points to write the equation of the line. So, pwedeng to or eto, but you will get the same answer. Okay, so, substitute lang natin dun sa point slope formula. So, y minus y sub 1. So, itong y sub 1, so halimbawa, ang ginamit niya dito is ito, this one, 3, 2. So, ito yung x sub 1, then y sub 1. Tapos, slope is 1. So, substitute na natin. Slope is 1. And then, y sub 1 is 2. So, ayan. Substitute. And then, times 1. Tapos, yung x natin. Minus, y, minus x sub 1. Ayan. Si 3. So, substitute lang. Then, simplify. So, since 1. Ayan. Stay lang siya doon. And then, si negative 2, lipat natin sa kabila. So, magiging positive 2. So, negative 3 plus 2. So, magiging negative 1. Okay? So, the equation of the line is y equals x minus 1. Question? Okay. So, next. So, Ito naman. Find the equation of the line given the x and y intercepts. So, write the intercepts as ordered pairs. So, for example, the x intercept is 4. So, you can write it as an ordered pair 4, 0. Then, for the y intercept, negative 2 is the ordered pair 0, negative 2. So, calculate the slope. So, substitute Substitute natin, substitute the slope and the y-intercept into the slope-intercept formula. So, pwede rin yun. Pero ito class, meron din tong shortcut. Yung a over x, uh, x over a plus y over b equals 1. Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo. Write the equation of the line with x-intercept 3 and y-intercept 2. Ayan. So, so, write muna as intercepts, as an ordered pair, and then calculate the slope. So, pag nag-calculate tayo ng slope class, mag-assign kayo ng x sub 1, y sub 1, tas the other point is x sub 2 and y sub 2, then substitute. So, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, 2 minus 0. Okay, and then 0. Uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 0 minus 3. So, ito yung class. And then, simplifying. So, 2 tapos negative 3. So, negative 2 thirds yung slope natin. Then, now, since we have y intercept, so, which is 2, and then slope is negative 3 over 2, you can write, you can write now the equation of the line. So, substitute lang natin. M is negative 2 over 3x. Ayan siya, yung slope natin. And then, yung y-intercept is 2. So, substitute lang. Okay.